Hi everyone and welcome back. Let's have a look at this incredibly fast NVMe SSD from Corsair, the MP600 Pro LPX. The Corsair MP600 Pro LPX is an NVMe Gen4 SSD with a sequential read of 7100MB per second and writes, in the 1TB version that I'm testing, of 5800MB per second. This SSD has a 3D TLC NAND hardware encryption and the 1TB has an endurance of 700TB write. That's a lot. This SSD has one of the latest and fastest controllers, the Fison E18, which can offer incredibly high speeds and reading and writing. Now, I believe this is the same SSD as the MP600 Pro XT, they have the same controller and the same specs. The only visible difference here is the heatsink. The MP600 Pro LPX can fit also in the PS5 without removing the heatsink, while the Pro XT you can remove the heatsink. So, whatever of these two SSDs you are getting, you will have the same performances. Inside the box, there isn't too much. The SSD itself, some warranty papers and a QR code on how to install it on the PS5, which is really easy and it takes 5 minutes. I don't have the PS5 at the moment, but down in the description you can find also the link on how to do that. I'm going to install it on my PC, so I don't need the heatsink because the motherboard itself has the heatsink. But this heatsink, you can easily remove it by unscrewing these little four screws. To take full advantage of this fast NVMe, you will need a CPU that supports PCI Gen 4 and also a motherboard that supports it too. I'm going to do some write and read tests with a Ryzen 9 5900X and as a motherboard I'm going to use an ASUS ROG Strix B5550XE gaming Wi-Fi. So I will have a full PSI Gen 4 speed access. Now let's check out some benchmarks. Starting with auto disk benchmark, as we can see the read and write speeds are almost the same as mentioned by Corsair. In my case maybe a little bit different because I have partitioned the SSD, so that is influencing the data here. But we are almost there. Moving to AS SSD benchmark and sequential read and write, we have almost the same data as auto. Interesting values are represented in the compression bench and in the copy bench, with really great high speeds. And at the end, the Crystal Disk Mark is reporting similar amazing high speed in read and write of the Corsair MP600 Pro LPX 1TB NVMe. The temps during all these tests were perfectly fine and low. Consider also that during normal activity or gaming, it's really hard to reach those temps unless you are copying or moving constantly heavy files all day long. Now, as we can see, this is a great and fast NVMe. Corsair has done a good job and including the Fison E18 controller will guarantee high speeds everywhere and anytime. To take benefit from this speed, you will need to pair it with a correct component, such as a CPU or a motherboard that supports PCI Gen 4. If you have a SATA SSD or even a Gen 3 NVMe, you will notice the speed boost in the OS or other apps, especially if those apps are video and photo related. In the actual games, probably not with this gen at least. The loading speed will be almost the same, maybe a couple of seconds of difference. But with Microsoft inter introducing the direct storage, certainly this SSD might be more than a welcome update. And sure, games and other apps can benefit massively. You can get it at 500 gigs, 1TB, 2TB or even a huge 4TB if you want to go for the max storage. Not to mention that this is a great solution for the gamers that want to extend their storage on the PS5 too. That's all for the short review of the Corsair MP600 Pro LPX. If you enjoy watching this video, I would so much appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.